Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Football Manager 21 Let's Play series. Today, we're about to play Maidenhead in the FA Trophy fifth round. Um, I've played two matches off camera, Telford game and um, the Colville game, as well as I think the Leamington game as well. Did I play three matches off camera or two matches off camera? I can't remember. I've played matches off camera and um, yeah, we're We've got the FA Trophy game coming up. We are into February now. The season is coming to a close. Not much longer left. Last three months of the season. So, year two is uh, looking very good. Right. Let's do some opposition instructions and some shooting on site, I think. Team and players, that's looking good. Um, I have offered a contract to Jack Rolls. The player we got on um, trial in the last video. I have offered him a contract. I've also had to offer Oyogoki an improved contract because somebody made a transfer bid for him. Uh, an MLS team made a transfer bid for him. And now his agent wants a better contract. So I've had to just do that as well just before the uh, just before I started recording. So hopefully that will be... Um, Be pretty good. Hopefully get him signed up long term again. Close there from Robson. Ball. He finds the net. Playing him as a false nine at the minute. Changed his role a little bit. See if it encourages him to get a bit more. He's going to move around a bit more in that position, which could pose a problem for the defenders trying to keep tabs on him. Marking him. Because he's going to be dropping into midfield. He's going to be dropping deep. So, could be a, a very interesting uh, position for him. Callum Cissé. Again, a defensive midfielder getting in on the uh, scoring there as well. Medford Smith ran ahead of the ball, huh? Eh? <laughs> well, the pass was behind him. You choose what you want to think about that one. Oh, sorry defending there. Sorry defending. That is. <laughs> Maidenhead are not really giving a good account of themselves in this game, are they? Some of their defending has been poor. Look, look at that look. He's actually teed him up there. The goalie can't come and collect it because it'll be a back pass. <laughs> so the defender's really not done him any favours there at all. Oh, 
Max Robson, 15th goal of the season. He likes getting on the end of them headers, doesn't he? He likes scoring some headers from set pieces, does Max Robson. It's one of the things we have improved a lot this season is actually scoring from set pieces. First season we struggled because we had midgets everywhere, didn't we, that couldn't head a ball. Now we've got some big lads in the team. Suddenly we're a threat. Very happy, lads. Very happy. Seven shots and we've scored four goals. Which is a lot better than 32 shots and only scoring one, as we have done in previous games. There's McCraw. Close for Campbell there. Bring Cam and Green on. We might also do Zach McGraw because he is looking a little bit tired. Bring him on. And then what is it? Will Lancaster? Because is he a booking away as well? Uh, in which case, yeah. We'll do that. We won't make any changes up front. Campbell! That's the fifth round done. Because I goal is to get to the semi-final of this particular competition this year from the board. Uh, yes, we will make the changes that we need to make. Max Robinson's about dead. <laughs> but we haven't got any more subs left. Offside. don't know if the lino got the memo or not that i said in one of the recent videos we are never offside ever you should never disallow our goals because we are never offside it's kempster blazing campbell who finally gets there, missed the first chance. Missed the first one-on-one, -on -one, but thankfully got the rebound off the keeper. Took the rebound away. And 6-0 is a good, good, good match, that is. Oh, didn't have a chance to click on that i should probably customize that screen and put some information on it next time we're in a match reme scored four goals absolutely delightful stuff that's what we like to see
355 in attendance. So, flipping out the gate receipt was crap. Fucking so few fans turning up. I don't understand that. I don't understand why we've got so few people turning up for our matches. You were absolutely superb in front of Grohl. Perfect 10. Perfect 10 for Reme. And we've got two games in hand against Chorley. We've got a game in hand against Fylde. So even in the league, things are going very, very well for us. Next game is Park Avenue. Going for a record biggest ever win. Going for a 6-0 win at home to Maidenhead in the Build Base FA Trophy 5th round. is a new Build Base FA Trophy record win. The previous FA Trophy record was Earlsbury's 6-1 win at home to Corinthian Casuals. Really? There hasn't been a higher win than that? Aaron Bain. And again, they don't recommend us offering him, him, him a contract. Because he's not very good. Thompson shines. Under 23s, 1 2 1. With. Where's our star man? Jack Rolls, there he is. I'm hoping he signs his contract. That would be really good. Team selection. They want to make a few changes. Grant for firm favourites for National League North Clash. All right, let's view the draw for the next round then. Halifax or Fall versus Leighton Orient. Grantham Town in a home tie against Notts County. Barrow or Dover versus Mickelover. And Aldershot or Dulwich Hamlet versus Solly Hall Muirs. Not County. That's, I tell you what, that's lovely. A lot of fans will travel from Knotts to Grantham. I'm quite sure. The FC United match has been moved. So that's now going to take place on the 1st of the 3rd. Please. Oh, it's a Tuesday night again. Why do we always play FC United on a Tuesday night when there's never going to be any fans? Oh, it's a disaster. We'll do a bit of community outreach before the Southport game. You know, do a bit for our, our bit in the community. Do a bit of team bondage. You know, try and improve our, our, our standing. Why have 
we got now? Yeah, Columbus made an offer for McGraw, who are a major league team. Get off that. Yeah, Columbus. Major League Soccer Eastern Conference. Don't know why MLS teams are trying to tap up my Grantham players, but yeah. And then it was Nashville that wanted Oyagoki. We're going to sign him. Has agreed the deal. Perfect. What do we play currently? Uh... Advanced Playmaker, isn't it? Advanced Playmaker. So we're going to put him on Advanced Playmaker. Yeah. Get to know your teammates. Good. Right. Next match. Shoot on site. We'll do some opposition instructions. Um I'm gonna use the suggested squad. We've got Rolsey has already moved into the team. You can bring Coxie on, of course. Um, yeah. He's probably going to make his debut then. Today, at some point in this match. Be nice. Another star man sign for us. Let Ian Sharps give a team talk for a change. Not a lot of fans. You've got not a lot of fans. You've got not a lot of fans. You must suck. And it's nice to see us playing in our dream team kit. Like Harchester United, Dragons of Old. I found some of the seasons of Dream Team are available to watch on YouTube. Free. Some of the uh, seasons. I think you can watch seasons. I think it is it three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Only the first seasons, the first two seasons I can't find on there, but yeah, someone's uploaded seasons of Dream Team on um on on YouTube. So you can go and watch those if you want to watch some like you want to watch a TV program about a fake football team playing in the Premier League and Europe and stuff and all the dramas that go on and, you know, the players getting murdered and all sorts. There's some really outrageous stuff in that show. Goalkeeper gets taken out by SWAT police after he takes the club hostage in one one game. He takes the club hostage, players hostage in the dressing room. <laughs> He's trying to get the team relegated or something. Or match called off. Also, and um, he's got a gun. <laughs> and when they finally negotiate for him to come out of the dressing room and shoot him. <laughs> and there's all sorts of crazy stuff. That goes on in the show. Like these, um, these Arabs try to buy the club. And when the deal falls through, they kill one of the players. They, they, sass, they murder him in his sleep, thinking it's the manager. They get him mistaken identity. 
And then as a result of that, the manager has to go into witness protection because he's going to press charges against the um, the Arabs. And, tech, and obviously there's going to be legal, obviously. So he has to go into witness protection and leave the club. All weird stuff. And then there's this weird thing where the, the, a guy who owns the club, a guy wins the lottery, buys the club. And then after one season, because of how everything goes and the absolute disaster that the um, um, he had whilst he was owner, on the final day of the season, he gives away the club to whoever sat in it. He pulls out one of the seat numbers. He has like this random draw. And he pulls out, picks out a seat number. And whoever sat in that seat owns the club. And then there's <laughs> just random people get like ownership of the club. And they're like Everton fans who scalped tickets for the game they're not even Harchester fans and they become the owners of the club oh so much crazy stuff goes on in that show but I tell you what it'd be great if Sky brought it back and did it renewed it and did a new version of it it would be really good I used to love watching it on a Sunday night We're 3 0 up at half time, so we're doing well. Right, right, right. Pause. I want to customize this. We. Yeah, that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Get the overview, get the goals on that. I like that. I prefer that. Yeah, we need to uh, get that right. So that's good there. So Robson, Torre and Campbell are our goal scorers. Robson needs to come off soon. Goal. You know what? I think that's the time. He's just scored. So let's bring Kempster on for Robson. Let's bring our new man on for Will Lancaster. Um, and then we'll just... Uh, Team talk complete. There we go. So we get the new boy. He probably should have saved that because that was bending towards the keeper. tackle okay we're letting them get back in the game now they're having a bit of a fortune they're having a bit of time there's a big long throw Torre with a flick on Campbell couldn't nudge it on again Campbell, Campbell's time has come. He's knackered. So, come on.
Jordan, show me what you've got, son. We need you to, uh, you know, put on a performance here. What a goal. Found the top corner. Lovely left footed strike there. As rolls the new man, teed him up. Kemp's the though. Flipping awesome strike. Awesome strike. Yes, we will proceed with the tactical changes. Praise the team. Come on, lads. You've played well today. Apart from Jordan Cox, who still hasn't done out since coming on. Very disappointing striker this season. After last season, he really doesn't work in a um, single striker formation. Really doesn't work. He doesn't. Might have to sell him. Might have to sell him this year. Rolls makes Grant from Town debut. We had 359 fans in attendance at the Horsefall Stadium, which is not great. was on form again you were superb in front of goal with his two goals and we go on and we go on we go marching on 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 we go marching on to the team we go marching on marching we're 20 points ahead now look 20 points with a game in hand it's all over it's all over but the crying we deserve one more match against hereford today in this video one more game one more match that's what you're always saying in um, football manager isn't it one more match okie okie come crack signs new five-year deal He has no interest in joining them. I'm just going to reject all transfer offers. Because you're not going nowhere. You're not going nowhere. Right, let's kick this off with the first question from Pete Waldron of the Non-League Paper. You sit here alongside your new signing, Jack Rolls. Are you pleased to have got your man? Jack is a fine player. Well, are you confident that Rolls can produce when it matters in the big games? What's big for the club when needed? Give him a boost. Matches could be won or lost in a single moment. Do you believe Rolls to be someone who can make the difference between success and failure? We certainly hope so. That's what we want from all of our players. Do you agree that this signing is something of a coup for Grant from given the relative status of the player and of the club? People may boost rival. I think this is evidence of the fantastic progress that we are making as a club. Jack Rolls was released from Tottenham Hotspur, having failed to make the breakthrough there. Do you see something in him that perhaps others have missed? And who still have an excellent career as a footballer. Remarkably, this is your ninth signing of this transfer window. Do you have plans for further signings? You've had a pretty busy... Well, we haven't made that many signings, really. Unless they count all the trials. Better chance of a bright future. No barrier. There's no barrier if they're fantastic. Fantastic. 
Signing him will help to do that. Exactly. What is your relationship between you and Rolls, and why did he want to work under you? Um, I have a respect for the player, as I do all my players. And hopefully, he will continue to go on and do good things for us. He didn't get the, really get the best feedback from Grantham. Um, what part of he's not for sale do you not understand? You know, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? He's not for sale. Unless the price is right. <laughs> you know, you offer me stupid money. We'll take it. Oh, the game got postponed again. Come on, we want one more match in this video. Got to get through these days a bit quicker. These periods between matches, especially where there's not a lot going on. Then we'll have Blythe Spartans at home in the uh, next video to start with, and then Brackley. It's all over. Waltham Abbey make an approach to sign Manasa Kianga on a free transfer. Same with um, Benz. There's a good chance. There's a good chance now. Um, we might let him go. From the end of the season, we, we may just release him. Because he's not valued at anything. He's on a non-contract. He's not very good. <laughs> he doesn't have a great potential. Uh, why is that not showing the proper view? It should be that one, shouldn't it? Oh, oh crap. Um, auto size all columns. There we go. Now it makes it fit better. Yeah. Potentials are over here, look. Beans is only a two star. So Bird and Beans are probably going to be... Uh, and Cox is probably going to get sacrificed this year. Maybe Ball as well. There's a couple of players there. Which could be... Um, Offloaded come end of season. Still got a couple of flipping days to skip through. Campbell's making good progress. As he does. All right, here we go then. Tactical meeting time. Hereford. Give them a... Yeah, we're going to swap them back. I prefer Bartlett playing in that 
attacking playmaker role -y type plays. Uh, apparently Medford Smith is not having much of an impact on Motore anymore. There's Rolsey. Need to match. Okay. Dressing room. When you go out there and pick up where you left off last time. Because last time we had a flipping great victory. Right, let's see. Let's see if we get a good home victory. And what is a wet and miserable day here at the, the Mears? <laughs> Robson's got it. Robson's got it. Robson's got it. Robson's still got it. Robson's going all the way. I've got a penalty. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jack. Did he just miss that? Did he just blast that wide? He blast that so wide, it he almost missed the stand. What a letdown, Reme, after Robson did all that beautiful work. Is it the post? And then he goes and misses the free kick. Here comes Lancaster again. Oh, look, been booked. Medford Smith, come on, Medford. goal bit of a stroke look really because the ball kind of just ricocheted off Torre into his path sometimes you need a bit of luck don't you that McGraw wins headers but it would be nicer if he actually was then able to actually head it in the direction of one of our players Robson's getting a little bit greedy a couple of times he should have squared there's a couple of times now where he probably would have been better off squaring the ball rather than taking the shot Things are going well, but I know you're capable of better. Get out there. I would like a second goal because one nil's not comfortable for anybody. You know what I'm saying? He's coming good now. After a bit of a slow start, he's finally starting to get quite prominent now on that left wing. 
He's starting to get used to his role out there, I believe. Seems a lot more comfortable playing in that position. All right, tactics. Again, we're going to bring Jack Rolls on for the bulk man. Marcus Mirtha, oh you go, kikoki, koki, pipey smoky. I think Kempster. If we'll give we'll give young Max, we'll give young Max a rest. We'll give the lads twenty five minutes, and uh, with a bit of luck. That'll be it. Three points in the bag. Some good, lovely passes. Oh, Kempstall's unlucky there. Couldn't get the cross past the defender. Lancaster to Medford Smith. All right. Kempster, Cisse, Lancaster, Kempster is in. Campbell. 40th goal. He's, he'll tell you what, he's going to score more goals this season than he did last season. Remy is definitely going to improve his goal tally. got a consolation that's a shame for Marenko wasn't it you've let one in son you don't concede many to be fair but Tell you what, that was very nearly a repeat of the goal he scored in the last game. <laughs> that was almost an instant replay. With Rolls playing the ball off to Kempston. Kempston striking it with his left foot, trying to bend it into that far top corner. That was very nearly instant replay of the goal. But yeah, another victory. That's it. We march onwards. Another three points. We must have about got the league wrapped up by now. Or certainly we've got promotion wrapped up. Or playoff positions. We would do very well not to get a playoff position out of this. Wouldn't we? We had 559 fans attend the match. Our attendance is getting a little bit better. It's still not fantastic. I don't think he, he has Kane Lewis scored any goals this season. No, so he's not a full back that scores goals. Yeah, impressed with how you led the line. Yeah, 22 points ahead now. We must have got that Russia. Cole Villa probably relegated. Anyway, folks, that is it for the uh, uh, video today. 
Uh, I'm just wondering when I should probably bring you guys back. Um, maybe for the quarterfinal game against Notts County. I might play the next three games off camera, bring you back for the quarterfinal, and then we've got FC United after that, so that'll be good, and Southport. So there's three tough games, three very tough games for the next episode in the um, series. That works out very well. So I'll tell you what, folks. I will leave you here. I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye for now. Cheerio.